What's up, y'all? I'm SDJ Malik, and I'm about to show you guys how to use this. For one thing, this is a free software. You can download it anywhere on the internet. Just search MuseScore 2, and you'll find it pretty much. Just download the link. And when you open this program, you'll get to this screen right here. Very basic treble clef and all this stuff like that. So this tutorial is going to be on marching drums, how to set it up and stuff. So since there's no other tutorials out there, first things first, you're going to go to File right here. Open new and you'll title it whatever. Whatever you want to title it. You can put the composer and copyright and all that stuff. And then you're going to click choose instrument. Notice there's no choice for marching drums. So you're going to click down here, click on all instruments, and you're going to pick marching percussion. And you can add cymbals, bass drums, tenor drums, you know and snare drum i'm gonna add snare drum if you want to make a snare solo you can do that if you want to make a whole ensemble uh you can do that as well with all of this right here so you're gonna click add you can click one staff three or five i'm gonna pick five because it's common to do i guess um so you click that this is where you pick your time signature you can pretty much pick whatever i'm gonna stick with the four four the standard you can change your measures, 32, I'm going to just make one measure, <laughs> there it is, there's your title, whatever, normally the composer would go right here, but you can always add that later, but basically, you got this right here, you got all your notes right here, your 32nd notes, 64th second notes, 128th second notes, which you'll probably never use, none of these two, here's your half note all that stuff here's your rest to be able to put the notes down you're gonna press the end key and this will pop up down here um notice that this staff or this note is way up here we don't want that we want the note down here so what you'll do is go to edit drum set and you'll just find where it's at usually it's a battery snare right there you the stem will stay up or if you want to if you want the stem to go down like that you can do that but i'm gonna put up normal head usually you can change it to if you want to add back sticking or stick shots or whatever you want to add you can pick all these different triangles and stuff diamonds i can't think of the word but you guys know what i'm talking about so yeah i'm picking normal so i'm gonna push it down oh it's going down wait so yeah, put it down to seven so it's at the normal spot and bam, down, right? So basically to insert notes, this is pretty much just like that, right? All quarter notes. And then if you want to play back, press the end to get rid of the key, right? If you want to hear the metronome, you press that button, right? And to stop it and go, I pre I'm pressing the space, the space bar. So if you want to change the tempo, you're going to go to view. And then you will go to play panel. And you can change the tempo right here. You can raise it. You can see the beats per minute up here, 216. And you can adjust the volume to go up or down. You can play back. Oh, it did. All right. These are quarter notes. This is how fast the tempo is. You have to return the measurement. Right. You can do that. Change the tempo right there. Play panel. So if you want to change these notes to, let's say, an eighth note, that will automatically pop up because it's an eighth note. And you can add it as you please. Just like that. And you can hear what it sounds like. All right, I'm going to change the tempo back to 120. All right, so it's at 120. Right, so now if you want to add a little extra stuff, well, let's see. If you want to add 16th notes, the same thing. This will pop up, play back. There you go. Now, if you want to add um, extra notes to this, or not, not extra notes, but you know, you want to add diddles and flams and stuff, you'll go, here's where you'll add your flams, your grace note right here. So you'll click that, well you'll double, first you'll click this note, whatever note you want to add to flam, 
and then you'll double tap the flam. Now you got a flam. It's gonna sound weird, but just trust that it's a flam. It's gonna sound like a diddle, but it's not. So you can add flams or whatever. So if you want to add diddles, you'll go to tremolo, double tap, just like, just like the flam, whatever note you want it on. Um, I'll put it on that. I mean, here. You can add it on the flam if you want, and playback. So if you want to add accents to it, you'll go here to articulation and whatever that word says. And you'll pretty much do the same thing or apply the same method. Click whatever note you want the accent over, and bam. Now it's going to show up under here. I'm not sure how to set it up to automatically go up here, but to adjust it, you'll go to vertical offset. Add a negative so it goes up on the note, and you'll adjust it accordingly. If you gotta go to six or six point five, whatever you need, and then bam, just like that. If you want to shift it over one, then you just push it up, or you just press this button and it'll do so, and it'll be right over the note. But I mean, it doesn't really matter for me, so I'm gonna add an accent right here. Same thing. And one more. Maybe 6.5. Boom. Now it's accident. Oh, wait. All right, now. Hey, sounds pretty cool so far. All right. Now, if you want to add dynamics and lines to the bottom of it, like this basic, like one of these to go up and down, you'll go here, but I'm not going to do that for this video, but I'm just showing you. If you want to add like forte and piano and stuff like that, you'll go down. Wait, where is it? Dynamics right here. Here's your piano, forte. All right. And then for snare drummers, um, if you want to add like a buzz to it, you'll just click the Z. Of course, you'll have to adjust it accordingly. Uh, I like to put it at five and a half, negative five and a half, and then shift it over by, wait, no, shift it over by 50. Now you got your buzz. It's not gonna make a buzz sound, but you'll know that you just buzz on that part, right? You can add that. And then of course, if you wanna add your stick shot, go pretty much right here, add that. It's gonna look upside down. You'll change the direction to up, it's like that. And then accordingly change the value number. Um, I'm gonna leave it at six, negative six, and then there you go. So you got that, and then finally, to add your R's and L's, your right hands and left hands, so you know what rudiment you're playing. Um, you go down, or you, you're gonna right click, and you go to text, and you go to lyrics. This is where you press your uh, R, capital R, whatever, L, R, L, L, R. You got a left handed uh, stick shot right there. And this is where you'll know what your sticking is, what it's doing and stuff. All right. And then, of course, if you want to add notes up here or down here, or wherever you want to put it, you'll go down, go to text, and then go to staff text. Oh, wait, I didn't click the... First, you click the note. Then you go to text. Then you go to staff text. And you can add random, I don't know. Uh, you can you can adjust it to you can go up vertical offset or you can go all the way down here I've seen music written down here music notes or you know right there so you can you can do that although I don't like doing that just because it'll look cluttered well, I mean I might change my music writing style and down the road but yeah that's how you add that and that's pretty much it for this tutorial um Give this video a thumbs up if you understood it. And again, this is a free software, MuseScore 2. Just search it on the internet. It's out there, all right? It's free. You can write music on it. This is pretty much how you write snare drumming music. And um, 
yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, quick note, like I said, if you want to add back sticking or something, you just press N key and you'll pick one of those. Uh, I like to pick, I like mine to be a diamond and you'll find where it's at. I'm not sure where it is. So visual and instead of a triangle, I want to pick the diamond, which is the me. Of course, go down to staff line to seven. Boom, and then press the in, but make sure you got the note, and then use your up and down arrows, switch it, and there you go. That's how you would change it. This would indicate a back sticking, and then, I mean, you're the composer, you can pick whichever um, sign or, or shape you want to use to indicate whatever move or stick trick you're doing all right that's it for this tutorial so that's it for this video um subscribe if you are not a subscriber yet and turn on push notifications if you want to check out my online store for merchandise shirts hats and stuff i'll post the link in the comments below it'll also be in the description below and hit me up if you want drum lessons all right that's it for this video